Hi everyone, it's me again. It is 12.34. Uh, just getting ready to mail this out. This is ProMedica. ProMedica doctor's bill. Um, I did get the money order filled out. Um, the girl told me on the phone, well yeah, I'll take the $20 payment, but next month it has to be more. And I told her, no, that next month the most I can pay is $10. Um, I explained to her the situation. She told me it wasn't her problem. Um, but yeah, I don't understand why they think they can get more money out of somebody that don't have it. Come on. Bear. Come on. But yeah, like I said, I don't understand it. Um, I don't know why they think they can get more money out of me. Because I told her the most I can afford next month is $10. She told me, well, we're not a bank. It's not our problem. Well, you know what? I'm not a bank either. And with not working, I can I can only pay what I can. Um, I just think it's stupid. I just think it's stupid that they want someone to pay more when they can't even afford it. Uh, I wouldn't have to pay this if my doctors, if most doctors would have had me pay the $30 right then and there. But no, what did they do? They, they decided that they weren't going to charge me the $30. Um, $30 for the one appointment for my family doctor, another 30 so there's 60 and then the $26 and some cents for the orthopedic surgeon to get the orthotics fit for my feet and then come to find out my insurance wouldn't pay for it. Um, so that was just a waste of $26 and some cents. Um, because that is actually three doctor's visits. And my insurance only paid out of that one like five dollars and some cents, and then I was stuck paying the twenty six fifty. Um, so I don't understand it. I've told them when I went in there, yes, I will pay it, and there's times that they will collect the money, and then there's times that they won't. Because um, this thirty dollar copay isn't much, yes, but when they add three bills onto one, and then you can't pay all of it then they expect you to pay it. Like with that surgeon that I had surgery on. There was times that I went to his office and he didn't collect the money. And then they waited until it was time for me to have surgery. Then they had me pay for it. Um, so I don't get it. Why these doctors pull that crap. Because when you tell them you've got the money to pay for it, they don't charge you until after the fact. Um, but, yeah, like I said, I don't get it. Sorry everyone, this is taking time. But yeah, I'm just now getting ready to mail this out. So, now it's in the mail. So this afternoon they will get it. Um, I'm going to try to swap out these batteries here in a little bit. Uh, But yeah, like I said, I don't understand why doctors do that. They wait until they they don't want to take the money when you want to pay them, and then they wait until like a month, two months later, and then they bill you for it. Um, they should have had me pay it the day that I was in their office. 
because I wouldn't have had a problem with that because then that 80 some dollars would have been paid but when I go back to see the surgeon in December I'm going to make sure that they take the money out because next week I got 30 some dollars that will be coming out when I see my family doctor um, and this time they are going to take it because I'm not going to wait for them to send me a bill I'm just going to tell them hey I would like to pay my $30 copay because I'm not going to wait for them to send me a bill because I'm getting tired of them doing that that crap but yeah I'm home now um, I did get everything done that I wanted to get done and I got my oil change scheduled for 10 a.m. tomorrow morning so I'm just now going to grab my camera case and I'm going to swap out the battery because I do need to eat yet Ready to go in? Come here. Come on, bear. Bear. Come on. Bear. I'm not going to tell you again. Come on. Don't give me that look. Well, everyone, I'm going to stop it right here, and I will talk to you guys soon. Have a good day. Bye.